In today's video, we'll discuss Net Stable Funding Ratio or NSFR. Hello friends, welcome to iExamB. I welcome you all to another video of KYC that is Know Your Concepts, where we try to let you understand basic economic and financial concepts in short videos. In the backdrop of global financial crisis that started in 2007, the Basel Committee on Banking Supervision or BCBS proposed certain reforms to strengthen global capital and liquidity regulations with the objective of promoting a more resilient banking sector. It came up with two minimum standards, liquidity coverage ratio or LCR and net stable funding ratio NSFR. You can find the link to the LCR video in the i button. The net stable funding ratio or NSFR aims to promote resilience over a longer time horizon by creating incentives for banks to fund their activities with more stable sources of funding on an ongoing basis. Let us understand this. In good times, banks may expand their balance sheets quickly by relying on relatively cheap and abundant short-term wholesale funding. But during situations like financial crisis, the short-term fundings create multiple challenges. That is the reason banks are mandated to seek stable funding. As per BCBS, the NSFR is expressed as a ratio that must be equal or exceed to 100%. The ratio relates the bank's available stable funding to its required stable funding. The bank's total ASF or available stable funding is the portion of its capital and liabilities that will remain with the institution for more than one year. And bank's total required stable funding is the amount of stable funding that it is required to hold given the liquidity characteristics and residual maturities of its assets. I hope you got to learn some new things from this video. Please show your support by liking the video. Please share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell to be notified on our content. This is Amit signing off.